Okay, right guys, this is a uh, possible fix because of the, um, I'm trying to what Mark, is now Mark IV Polo, is it? The Volkswagen Polo, this is a 1400 on a T-plate. And the old fan stopped working. And it's a common problem, apparently. So, a fix, or well, a potential fix, one of a few, but the main one is um, the resistor's gone, okay? So underneath here, in your passenger side footwell, I've got a torch here, if I can use it to illuminate things a bit better. Right, it's a bit of a squeeze. First thing you do is pull out your carpet. Okay, pull the carpet out of here. Pull it down. Yeah. All right, can you see under there? There's more to come down. This here can come down here. This foamy insert, okay. Now that will reveal, if I can see, that there is your end stage resistor for the blower, okay? And to get it out, it's just a case of squeezing the two lugs together, here and here, squeeze the sides and pull it out like that, okay? That's a new one, right? That's a new one in there now. I've fixed it already. So I'm going to show you the old one. That's the old one there, right? Now these buggers, for some reason, the Polo footwell gets really, really um, moist and damp, whatever, call it what you want. Okay. What happens is, if you can see it in there, it gets a bit corroded. So these are really cheap on eBay. I think I paid about four or five quid for this. Yeah. Now the problem is this thing here, this little connecting block. More often than not, this connecting block gets welded solid or rusted solid inside and you can't get it out, yeah? Cannot get it out for love nor money. So the best thing to do is snip the wire uh, it's a main dealer part only, but nobody's got them for some odd reason. No main dealer seems to have them. They're on back order, which means they've got to be obtained from Germany. They're about 91p, but you don't actually need it. So once you've got the old one out, throw it away, Woohoo! and buy another one from eBay, nice and cheap. And when you've got it, get yourself... It's a bit tight. All I've done is I've put a spade end connector on it. Instead of putting that connecting block in, that red wire, I've just crimped it onto a little spade end connector. I think it's about four and a half mil. I can't remember to be, to be honest. Shoved it on the connection block and then popped it back in there. Back in its hole, nice and tidy. And then you put all your gubbins back up. Put it all back together. It's a really, really quick job. It should only take about 10 minutes, really, tops. Carpet back in. I'll do that later on. It's my wife's car. I've got to do it because she'll kill me. You've left my carpet out again, love. You and your bloody videos. There you go. Right, so that's all back together. Once you're rebuilt, the electric's on. Bingo. Oh, sorry, the video's gone a bit mental. Okay, fan's working beautiful. So, one of these, about a fiver on eBay, four or five quid. Try and pinch those two lugs together and get your connecting block out. If you can't get it out, don't worry. Cut it off at the wire. Make sure you cut it close to this to give yourself plenty of wire to play with. Get a spade end um, connector to go onto. It looks similar to those pins there. I think it's about four and a half mil. Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember to be honest. But it, I paid about 90p for a pack of five. Take that out, shove it on the set on the new one, plug it back in, good to go. Okay, best of luck guys. That is one potential fix for the Polo heater problem. So this is on a T-plate, 1400 Polo, um, and it's prone to going because of moisture in the footwell. I hope that helps. Bye.